Hoverboards are one of this season's best-selling gadgets, despite some serious safety concerns. Though they look harmless enough, trying to ride one can end badly. They've been banned in some places, and some major retailers stopped selling them due to fire and battery risks. But if you are going to get one of these for the holidays, because let's admit they are fun, how do you keep yourself out of the ER and your board from going up in flames? The first trick is getting on. You don't want to jump onto a hoverboard. You'll probably wind up falling. The trick is to apply even pressure with one foot to stabilize yourself, then step up with the other. Or even better, grab a hold of someone or something when you climb a board. Basic operation is simple since movement is controlled by your balance. All you need to do is lean your body in the direction you want to go. Be careful though, since they can accelerate and turn very quickly. After a few minutes of practice, it's not particularly difficult to ride one of these especially if you're just going at a cruising speed. Of course, you can go faster, a lot faster, up to 10 miles an hour on this one, which can be problematic. Hoverboards don't really have brakes and they're not very easy to jump off of. Speed is especially problematic outside where there are obstacles like pedestrians, cyclists, and the NYPD. Now, not every place has made these illegal just yet, but the ones that have are instituting high fines. In New York City, an officer could slap you with a $200 ticket. But there's more to worry about than fines and falling. Most notably is the risk of fires and explosions, caused by faulty and poor quality batteries. This Swagway is one of the boards that's caught fire. Amazon sent an email to everyone who bought a hoverboard from its site warning them of the fire hazard. But so far, the US Consumer Product Safety Commission isn't completely steering the public away from hoverboards. Chairman Elliot Kay said that the agency is looking into the fires, but for now suggests that riders don't charge the hoverboard for an extended period of time to avoid overheating. Traveling with a hoverboard can be a challenge as well. Because of their large lithium ion batteries, some major airlines, including Delta United and JetBlue, have officially banned hoverboards on their planes. And more carriers are expected to follow. But as long as you follow safety precautions, one of these hoverboards, like the Swagway, could make a great memorable gift. Just take it slow, be cautious, and don't ride in crowded areas. Maybe buy a helmet too, just in case.